Welcome to Thought for May the 28th. Our readings are Joshua chapter 14, Isaiah 19, and Titus chapters 1 through to 3. And our thought is, Yet I wholly followed the Lord. In Joshua chapter 14 today, we read of the blessings received by a man who wholly followed the Lord. Caleb was the other man who, with Joshua, spied out the land and brought back an optimistic report. This was after the people had miraculously escaped from Egypt, being fed in the wilderness, built the tabernacle and received the law. Surely the whole nation had evidence on which to base their faith. And today God's book is available to all to read and provides much evidence to build up upon our faith. Caleb is now 85 years old and seeks his promised reward. We read his testimony to Joshua of the time when Moses sent me to spy out the land and I brought him word again as it was in my heart. Verse 7. This was a good positive report spoken in faith. Sadly, he adds, my brothers who went up with me made the heart of the people melt, yet I wholly followed the Lord. Verse 8. In our reading of Isaiah chapter 19 today, uh, there is a prophecy about Egypt. And today, the Coptic Christians in, the, in Egypt are an unhappy and somewhat persecuted minority. Verse 17 came remarkably true after Israel was re-established in 1947-48. We read, In that day the Egyptians will be like women and tremble with fear before the hand that the Lord of hosts shakes over them. The land of Judah will become a terror to the Egyptians. Verses 16 and 17. This never happened in history until now. But then Isaiah is caused to look further into the future to the time when the Lord will make himself known to the Egyptians and the Egyptians will know the Lord in that day and worship. Verse 21. In that day all the world will become dramatically aware there is a creator and a divine law to be obeyed. See Isaiah chapter 2 and verses 2 and 3. Let us wholly follow the Lord now. For, said Jesus, blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. John 20 verse 29. Caleb saw, yet in seeing he was aware of all the difficulties, but he wholly followed the Lord. We see the unfolding fulfillment of prophecy, especially with Israel, as an aid to strengthening our faith. May we be able to say in that day, Yet I wholly follow the Lord. Well, thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day once more, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that the Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you.